Marif Merch Fab. This is part 18 on the mongrel. Don't you just wonder how many parts there's going to be till it's finished? Is it going to be a hundred? Is it going to be a thousand? Who knows? What I'm going to do today, because I know it's something that a lot of people want to see and know how to do, is I'm going to make the uh, dimple die plates, gusset plates, to go in here. And now I'll make some more which will connect this section to the cage along here, tie all this in and uh, it's just going to make it look nice when you look under the bonnet. This is what I'll be using to do the dimple dyed holes. I've got a few different sizes of these and you can just uh, drill your hole, put them in, either squash it in a press. Um, I don't actually have a press here so I just use a nut and bolt. So let's get on with that. Got a little trick for you, for your long rulers and short rulers. See how my uh, ruler is bent? I do that on purpose. If you put a little bit of a bow in it, when you put it on a flat surface and you hold it with one hand in the middle, if you've got a bend in it, when you draw your lines, it's less likely to like slip round as you move it. And you can hold it in the middle because it just keeps a little, where it's bent, it just keeps a little bit of tension on each end so you're much less likely to come down here and then it's it's spin is that way up stays dead straight because it grips at both ends So now I just need to mark out where we're going to have the holes. So I'm going to have a little bend in this to um, just move it away from where the seal is going to sit. So that's how that's going to sit. And that fold is just to bring it out a little bit and give, uh, make sure I've got enough gap here for the seal to sit in the back. So we can mark this out now, drill the holes and then press them in. So make sure you've got no burrs on the back side before you um, start pressing. And I like to use a step drill to drill these rather than a hole saw, just because you get a much more accurate hole. And you want the, uh, you want the dimple die jobby to be a tight fit. If it's like flopping around in there, then you'll get like an off center pressing and it'll just won't look very good. Right, because I don't have a press, I just clamp a bolt, the right size for the uh, dimple die, and then 
I always just lube them up a bit just because uh, in case anything snags up a little bit when you tighten it. There you go. I'd say that's just as quick, if not quicker than doing it in a press, if you've got uh, an impact gun. We're doing this one in real time, see how it takes. See how quick I can do it. Ready? And these will just get stitch welded in. I usually do a weld, just a little stitch weld in between each hole. Uh, but I'm not going to weld them in yet because I want to wait till this has all been blasted behind and then I'll just get some primer down in those holes, in those cutouts in there and then I'll, I'll weld these on after. So I think for these bits, I'm going to do some bead rolling and some holes, just because I'm crazy. I want to keep using the same size holes rather than using bigger ones so I'm thinking what I do is a sort of bead roller a smaller width of panel and do the holes inside so that the uh, so that the size of the holes matches I think it'll look better than just having bigger holes in a bigger panel so that's what I'm going to do right, so I've got um, the holes marked out, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bead roll down these lines, and then that one's gonna be a fold, and that will just tuck in underneath the top of the panel that's there. So this is what we're looking at. That will obviously be tight, pinched up against there. Stitched along the top, stitched all along here, and then swaged holes all the way through the middle of that. It's going to look pretty cool when that's all welded in. Holy mother of gusset. There's a hole in my gusset, dear laser, dear la- so same deal with these, I'm not going to weld them in yet until after this has been blasted and get some paint up in behind there because otherwise there's no way you're going to be able to paint in there. 
So I can cut these bits off now, and then I'll have like a, I'll weld a nut onto that side or something, and then when this front piece slots in, you'll just be able to tighten that nut up, and then the uh, bolt will be hidden out of the way. You won't see any fixing on it. Um, and then I'm really looking forward to cutting these down because they've been annoying me looking at them. So this is gonna get trimmed. It'll probably come down there, just just around the top of that weld and then where that line is I'll probably just cut it off and I can cut a bit back off of this. So it's going to take a lot of this meat out of it and it will uh, just look a lot better. That's all I'm doing for today. So um, I'm going to do a video on how to make the little like wrap around gussets that you see on when you've got a roll cage with it crossed over and you've got the uh, the ones that wrap around in like a triangle because I know a lot of people want to know how you make them so we'll do a couple of them once we've got the um, rear diagonals in so yeah that is it for this one thanks to everyone who bought a t-shirt and a hoodie it's much appreciated and I'll see you on the next one cheers